But were we ever free? Of course you people are free. But what about us? We have been played for hundreds and hundreds of years, and we continue to be played like a freaking fiddle. When slavery was abolished, what were the former slaves promised? 40 acres in a meal, right? Right. But have you ever heard of any of them people receiving any piece of land or a simple meal? No. You didn't. My people have been lied to. The system has bamboozled us. Everything you thought was true is just a tall tale. There's no heroes, there's no happy endings for people like us until now. Now we stand up. Now we rewrite history and finally fight for what we write for ourselves. The minorities becoming top priorities and broken promises would now be kept. And I'm sure you, you don't even know what we want. But just ask yourself, what have we never been given? Go ahead, think about it. And those of you who know the answer, those are my people. And the rest of you who still look dumb trying to figure out what it is, you are the people I'm speaking on right now. But the answer, people, is justice. Something so simple as justice. First we ask for it, and if demands are complied with, then we take what we already should be given. We are the judge, we are the jury, and we are the executioners. This is the delegation. You either with us or against us. The choice is yours. In a jam-packed arena, welcome back ladies and gentlemen, here in LA, California, we are back with New Age Horizons Live. My name is Stash, and I welcome you all back from the commentary sides of things here tonight, making a return in my own right, and here we are. As the main event of the evening is right there in front of your screens, ladies and gentlemen, Trey Jordan's Nacho Mane. As a part of the Impulse Division, which I will describe later on, we will also be seeing Jack Starrin take on the Pharaoh Adolfo, and also the debut of none other than Alex J. Eric, the extremely accomplished madman of a human being that he is will be making his debut here tonight and that will be absolutely huge hello everybody it is one of the two owners here of new age horizons mr mayshard now last time you saw us at viewers choice a few things have changed people have left people have joined and everything company wise has changed. At Viewer's Choice, after our main event, our champion took his bags and left. He didn't tell anybody, he didn't warn anybody, he just hightailed it out of here. So, as a good owner, I called him, I texted him, I emailed him, everything. I tried to gain contact with him. Nothing. So, as a good owner I am, I did the only thing that I believe I could do. At Terror in Tokyo, our next pay-per-view, I'm going to have the right thing, Ryan Giovanni versus Brian Amin. Now why Brian? Why would I give Brian this chance? <laughs> I'm giving Brian this chance because of one reason, 
and one reason only. Because he is going to become a fool at Terror in Tokyo after Ryan Giovanni breaks his arm a second time. Now the thing is, is, I've had a broken arm before and I know it doesn't take a few weeks to heal. So Amir will be walking into this match with basically a freshly broke arm. <laughs> the thing is, Amir, if you no-show the event, if you do not show up at Terran Tokyo, you'll be fired right there on the spot. And Ryan Giovanni will be crowned New Age Horizons World Heavyweight Champion. Now, after that being stated, I have two little announcements that I want to address. One of them is the other owner of New Age Horizons, Lance Frisco, has been badly, badly, badly burned. And because of this injury that he has gotten, I have to announce this for him. New Age Horizons will be starting a new division very soon. Actually, by very soon I mean this episode. We are going to be starting an impulse division. Now, what's an impulse division? This is going to be for all the young talents that we have just recently signed. It has its rules, it has its regulations, you will see those later. And to crown our first impulse division champion, we're going to be having an eight-man tournament, which will end at Terror in Tokyo. We'll have four qualifying matches, the two semifinals will be at the pre-show, and then the final will be at Terror in Tokyo's main show. Last announcement is just something small that our heritage champion Sebastian Case wanted me to say. Sebastian, after viewer's choice, a few days after, he said, Mr. Mayshard, is it okay if I could defend my title every single week here in New Age Horizons? To prove how great of a champion he is, Case wanted to do this. To prove how great of a heritage champion he is and not like that fool Mr. Champion. So I said yes. So every week, we will be having the French Open Challenge. Sebastian Case will fight whoever comes out. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm Mr. Mayshar. And now nah is on fire. Well, and there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. A ton of major announcements as well as the French Open Challenge we'll be seeing right here, right now. And there is the champion, Sebastian Case. <laughs> the fans certainly getting under the skin of Sebastian Case as he makes his way out to ring. Can't say I blame them. The physical specimen that he is could very easily take on everyone in this arena and still walk away from it all. Would not surprise me in the slightest bit. But what is going to be interesting is who will face off against this behemoth of a man for that very title that he has around his waist here tonight. And it's going to be crunch time right here for the Heritage Champion Sebastian Case, as you see right there on your screen. As his first title defense in New Age Horizons comes to a head right now. It's time to see who his opponent will be. Eagerly waiting. The alarms have sounded. Fans are certainly ready. I'm definitely ready. Oh my. Sebastian Case is gonna have his hands full. This is Big Bronson. An absolute juggernaut of a man, if I do say so myself. And you can see an absolutely imposing figure 
and certainly fired up for this opportunity. He has a huge one in his debut here at New Age Horizons. And it's time for these two men to set the pace for tonight's episode. In a Heritage Championship French Open Challenge match. It's time to see if Case has what it takes. Oh my god, look at look at the size of these two men! Surprised the ring doesn't just cave in under the mass of these two individuals. Oh! And the fans certainly getting under the skin of Case as he deals shots to Bronson. And Bronson responds! Oh my god, it has dropped Case with that forearm, but only a one count. Does Bronson receive? I can only imagine what's whirling through the heads of the newcomer Bronson right now. A young man, but also extremely large and motivated for victory. Oh! What a kneeling uppercut by Case, leveling the giant challenger, but only gets a one count for his trouble. These two guys just dealing bombs at each other in their early goings. Oh! A European uppercut connecting to the head multiple times and oh my god! That one's in the big man sprawling down to the canvas below. Now it's Case who's trying to stay on the offensive. And a big shoulder tackle sends Bronson into the ropes. Now once again hooking the leg, trying to get this one over with as soon as he can. He's going for the pinfall after every move that he does. Oh, and look at this! He's going after the face! Oh, and he breaks him on the way back up! Oh, but that may not have been too wise by the Heritage Champion. Oh! <laughs> he's paying for that! Wow! Lariat over the ropes. And Bronson feeling himself, but can't get too caught up in the lights. He's gotta stay on his man. Case is so dangerous and has proven to be so dangerous over the past number of months. He's been absolutely dominant wherever he goes, especially New Age Horizons. So the big man. Oh! Bronson's gotta stay on him to the best of his ability. And oh my god! Not even letting the head go after these headbots. And oh, a big one! To finish up the combination. And Bronson. Oh my god! Did you see that? Oh my god, oh my god. Have we ever seen Case get manhandled like this in his career? Holy cow! Oh! A double axe handle on the way back in. Bronson absolutely making a statement here on Case. Let's take a look at these headbutts. Oh, what a nasty impact. You can hear it. Oh! Four heads connecting. Full on, and now back inside the ring we go. Oh, he's got him! Oh, up and down! Nasty slam! Finally going for the cover. Does Bronson, will he be the champion? No! Two count. On. Ooh! Bronson. Possibly. Trying to repay Case for what he did to him earlier with that eye rake, but just gets met with a pump handle. And now, oh, Case leaps on him. But Bronson, too big, keeps his feet under the ropes for safekeeping. Smart move on his part. Trying not to expend any energy by kicking out. Trying to keep all the action up top, but oh my god! Case! What velocity on those lariats in the corner that follows up with a short line and now into the opposite buckle. Sebastian Case getting a full head of steam and we know how dangerous this man can be when he starts rolling. Oh! And Bronson's feeling that more than anybody right now. Absolutely disgusting impact. And Bronson trying to Recollect himself. Oh my god, with a flapjack! And that is the move that's gonna give himself a chance back in this matchup. Just lifting Case high up in the air. Higher than I'm sure Case ever thought he'd be. 
inside the squared circle and now picking the big man up. Bronson, what strength! Deadlifting him up, another, oh! Triple power bomb. Oh my, what does the big man have here? Lifting himself up leisurely to the second rope! Oh my god! And the senton! Oh now with a knuckle sandwich. Oh! You know, case, gotta be reeling. Will this be it for Bronson? Will that be the key? No! Two count again. The resiliency of Case coming into play. Such a well-seasoned athlete as Case, but oh my god! Bronson really packing in the damage. And then once again back to that knuckle sandwich. Bronson putting on an absolutely impressive showing here in his first matchup at NAH. And definitely setting a good pace for the rest of tonight as well. But Bronson could be looking to finish off this matchup here right now. As he creates some distance. Trying to go for something. Case catching him. Oh my god, look at the strength that slams him down. Big high angle scoop slam. Oh, now he's got the neck. Lifting him up. Oh man. What a slam. And Case starting to build some momentum for himself in this title defense. Spine buster. Oh no, now he's gonna try and deadlift Bronson! Oh my god, with great success! Oh my god, you've gotta be kidding me, he's gonna go for a second one! Oh god! Sebastian Case with two in a row! Deadlift power bombs! Two! No! So close to a three! How close can you be? Bronson able to kick out though. On picks him up and slams him down again. Able to capitalize on a prone case. Case is definitely seems to be more of the Oh Jesus. Case definitely seems to be more of the emotional of the two in this matchup, and that's gonna cost him big! Oh big running Senton. Now up to the second rope again. The second Senton of the match from the second rope. Oh my god. I never thought I'd be saying this, but poor Case. He's just been absolutely manhandled in this matchup. Oh my god! Go home, driver! What nasty impact and a two count! How the hell is Case still in this thing? He's been on the receiving end of so much offense this entire match. Once again, Bronson toying with the fans a little bit, and oh! Giving Case enough time to go with that slam. Possibly give himself the upper hand in this matchup. He's got that big man up. You know what this is? Eiffel Tower. The Eiffel Tower. The move that won him the title in the first place. Two. And three. Still your heritage champion by the skin of his teeth. Sebastian Case. And what um, an amazing, amazing contest for Big Bronson. A huge showing by that huge behemoth of a man. And this is certainly a good encapsulation of his efforts. Three power bombs, one after another, not even letting go of the hold and BAM! That go home driver, I could have sworn would have been sealing the deal for Bronson, but not enough. And it was that move right there, that panted Eiffel Tower, that would end up getting Sebastian Case the three count and retaining that championship. It's only safe to say that Mr. Champion's reeling a little bit wherever he is right now after seeing that. Just, I just received word. There it is, terror in Tokyo. As we heard earlier from Keith Mayshard, 
Ryan Giovanni and Brian Amir are going to be competing in the main event of that of that card for the NAH World Heavyweight Championship. And that should be a very interesting contest as well. Ryan Giovanni, a seasoned veteran, and Brian Amir is certainly getting pretty close himself. And although Mayshard may have said that plenty have come and gone, there are plenty of people that are just now making their debuts, including the evolutionized Brian Young. It looks like he's making his way out here not to fight, but to say a couple of words here to the audience and attendance as well of all of you watching at home. Thank you very much for joining us for this returning episode. And I would just like to make a quick mention that Mr. Champion has seen a psychiatrist <laughs> for his anger after losing the case at Viewer's Choice. Just the first time. And who knows what kind of psychiatric evaluation he'd need for the second book. That's a whole nother story. Brian Young. We're going to make a huge statement here. He's got an opportunity for some mic time here tonight. Love to see what he has on his mind right now. Let's hear. My name... My name is Brian Wilson. And most of you know me as Brian Young. But I'm going to tell you this. My father, Darwin Wilson, has questioned this room. Has questioned how we were created, but I'ma tell you, Darwin Wilson figured out the key. We started off as monkeys and turned into something else. We, we adapted into something human. That's what we are today. We, we were not blessed or given the power from God and out of, out of nowhere became a human. We have started off as apes. We started off as an evolution. We are the evolution, in fact, my name is Brian Young, and I am the evolution. I am the perfect breed of wrestling right now. I am the perfect breed today. And I'm telling you this, if anyone stands in my way and questions me, questions the world, if they're... Oh my God. <laughs> Brian Young trying to make his presence felt here, but... The mood has quickly changed, and I think we all know what's about to come next. The Manchester Orchestra speaks to us, and in response we get that man. The Psycho Sniper. Eric is here, and his debut is imminent on New Age Horizons. Oh, Brian Young standing his ground. Alex Jarrett confronting the man, the two facing off in the ring. What a stare down. Young. Making his leave, and I can't blame him. Eric, a very imposing, psychotic figure. And I think it's safe to say that whatever Brian Young was talking about is said and done. Because it is time for Alex J. Eric's debut. And he looks more... He looks in the best shape of his career, quite honestly. It'll be interesting to see who he faces off with here tonight in his debut. Oh, the man that I was refer just referring to not too long ago. 
the bitter and angry Mr. Champion has answered the call of Alex J. Eric. A refined entrance as well as a refined Mr. Champion. This is going to be one hell of a collision of styles if I've ever seen one. Oh, pardon me. The California is great. Adam Champion. This man is no longer a Mr. Champion, but rather a Adam Champion. That's going to take a little bit of getting used to, and I apologize if I mess that up. But nevertheless, Champion looks as ridiculous as ever. <laughs> Mind you, with striding with purpose nevertheless. As ridiculous as he may be, he's always coming down to the ring intent on damage. As much as he has fun in games. And look at the size difference between these two individuals. We tend to undermine the height advantage that Champion has. But it's certainly apparent here tonight. Leapfrog and another Leapfrog. Oh, trying to go for a drop kick, but Eric, the ever studious, catching himself, going off the ropes and oh! Some unorthodox maneuvers. Oh my god! European uppercut! Sending Adam flying over the ropes. And that was huge. Absolutely gigantic for Eric in the starting moments of this match, and back into the ring we go. Eric's so fast when it comes to dealing punishment. Oh! And it looks to be targeting the leg of the former Heritage Champion. Oh, and he's got the legs wrapped up. And now a clover leaf. Oh my god, wrenching it hard. But ends up ending it quickly. Oh, to follow up with a drop kick instead. Go over the cover now. One. Oh. Just a one count. Oh, for the debuting Eric. Let's take a quick look back at this clover leaf. It's a beautiful form. I wouldn't be surprised if. Oh, champions feeling the effects of that through the rest of this matchup. Look at this. Champion. Ooh, some classic gloating. Following it up with a neck breaker. Now, oh, just kicking the man while he's down. Not even waiting for him to get back up and. Oh, oh, got a head full of hair. Or a handful of hair, pardon me. Oh, just slamming his head multiple times. And that is. Oh, that's some of the furiosity that I was talking about earlier. This is a much more bitter. Adam Champion than we have seen in the past. A man who has defined his persona by championship gold comes down to the ring here tonight without any at all. Ooh! But a nice side slam right there. Sends Eric reeling and oh! That straight clubbing blow. Nothing fancy about that. Just absolutely damaging offense. Oh, but look at this. Eric catches him. Ooh! Dragon screw once again. Going down on that leg. Very smart, calculated counter by Eric. And oh, double knees. And now what's Eric going for? Going to the top rope. Frog splash! Eric used splash. Two count only. That used to be a significantly more panted maneuver. Alex J. Eric, but he hasn't used it in quite a while, and ooh, speaking of patented moves. There's that soul food that he hasn't used in quite a while as well. Following up with the senton over the ropes. Hooks the leg. Only a two, though. It's gonna take a lot more to take down the former champion. He was a champion for a reason, after all. Ooh. 
trying to come back in this matchup with a couple of strikes. And out. Oh, man! Spinebuster! What a deep stack for the cover! Oh! Just a two. And you could tell that did a lot of damage on the back of Eric as he held it on the way back up. Oh, look at this. Oh, Adam Champion notices that as well and hits him with a nice suplex. Now, onto the second rope. Ooh! Now, Panton move on the part of Champion. Oh, and a kick right to the side of the head. Oh, debilitating strike. Right to the face. Goes for the cover. Hooks the far leg. Would that be it? No! Champion has got to stay on his man, though. He can't get too angry already. The crafty Eric will capitalize on any opportunity that's given to him. Ooh, nice kick! What fast, speedy reflexes! And there's the neck breaker. Honestly, I was counting the moments as to how long it would take before we'd see a neck breaker out of Eric. And I didn't think it would be long. And what's Eric going for here? He's got him up. Oh, God! What a transition! Backbreaker position in the double knee strike. Oh, man. He used to call those double knees the lunchbox. I wonder if he would still call that the lunchbox right now. Who knows? Oh, and he flies! Risking life and limb to deal some more damage on Adam on the outside. And what a great leap over all three ring ropes. But Champion not exactly in a rush to get back inside the ring. Looks like Eric was going to go for another dive, but Champion once again sticking to the outside. In fact, going even farther back. And now, now he's just walking away from this matchup. I can understand he's annoyed about losing his championship, but this is just ridiculous. No, but wait a second. Who? Wait a second. Is that... That's... Brian Young! He's back! I thought he had left entirely, but he just... He just nailed him with a sleeper suplex. Ah, oh, you've got to be kidding me. Champion getting the hell out of Dodge, but... Oh, and there's an Olympic Slam! Oh, now an Anaconda Vice! Now an Anaconda Vice locked in! Referee calling for the bell! Brian is not stopping though! He just continues to deal the damage with this Anaconda Vice! Eric is helpless inside the ring! And the fans obviously vocally unhappy about this assault! And who could blame them? Absolutely dastardly move by Brian Young right now. And if that's the kind of statement he wants to make, then so be it, but I hope he's aware of all the backlash he's going to receive as a result of this attack. As crazy as Eric may be, he is a beloved individual here. Moving right along, though. Here's an injury update for Lance Fisco. He has indeed received first-degree burns as a result of his matchup with DeVille. And it seems as though he'll be out for quite some time. And as for Brian Amir, he does indeed have a broken arm. And it's going to be very interesting to see whether or not he'll be okay for Terran Tokyo. And it looks as if Aiden Pericolo is going to be out for good. That is huge. Nevertheless... It looks as if we're going to be... I'm going to be joined at ringside by none other than Cannibal. The huge fan favorite himself. Pulled on what... Pulled off quite a good showing at viewer's choice. Not able to... Really get too far, sadly. But nevertheless... Here comes another man who put on quite a showing at viewer's choice. The Pharaoh himself, Adolfo. A very dangerous and incensed 
individual here with one thing on his mind and that is gold and let's take a look back real quick at what Adolfo did to Cannibal it was one hell of an outing for Cannibal as I said including that gigantic leap over the ring ropes and in general just a ton of action all over the place and then in that scramble matchup for the Heritage Championship. I can definitely recommend checking out the replay of that on the New Age Horizons YouTube channel when you get the chance. But nevertheless, as we saw earlier, the Pharaoh Delpha will be in action here tonight against Jack Starin. I'm interested to see how these two men fare moving into this new season, this new redefined New Age Horizons. And speaking of fan favorites, there is a man that has absolutely captivated the New Age Horizons audience, your hero and mine, Jack Star. At viewer's choice, he went one-on-one -on -one against Devlin Denus in an absolutely insane tables matchup. And as you see there, Fer Rodolfo. Oh my god! Did you see that? Adolfo standing completely tall, staying in the ring as the damaged Starin is in the middle of doing his entrance. Didn't even bother getting outside of the ring. I'm sure the Pharaoh considers Starin nothing more than an, a new air dwell right now, and it's going to be interesting to see if this matchup gets started right now. Trying to go for a headlock as Starin, but gets taken off the ropes. Nice stuck under into the leapfrog by the Pharaoh. I'll try to go for a hip toss. Star encounters with one of his own. Very nice move there. Oh my goodness, Starn. Feeling himself for a moment there. But it was but it was Adolfo who came up with the upper hand at the end of that thing. That was keeping Starn Oh close by as it goes down to the leg. To start doing the offense there and drops the elbow down going for a cover no just a one not surprised that was oh my god it stomped him right in the face oh another shot to the face they're definitely not going to see too much flash and pizzazz out of the pharaoh here tonight he is all business when he comes into that squared circle and oh my god look at the way he's using the ring ropes the bottom rope specifically to deal damage on the leg oh of Starin and it's a good thing oh Starin hasn't been injured on any of the legs because I can only imagine how damaging this matchup would be if Pharaoh went straight for that damaged shoulder and mid pardon me and midsection Oh, oh, but as I say that, there's a couple of ja oh my goodness, a couple of jabs and strikes right to the midsection. Oh, wow. A jabber. Huge slap right to the face. Oh, man. And that's only going to fire up Star and more. But, oh, nice response by the Pharaoh. Takes him down. Oh, my God, look at this. Oh, what a... Oh, disgusting angle on the leg. Right in the middle of the ring. Perfect positioning here. Oh. And then stomping back of that midsection twice over. And finally going for the cover after all that. Two count, though. Oh, but look at this. Starin has got the legs 
takes him over in a sharpshooter. Fantastic submission move for Starin. And that could be the opening that he needs to get back in this matchup. Goes off the ropes. Oh! Nice face buster. Now Jack Starin trying to get a full head of steam for himself in this matchup. He hasn't been able to get much of anything so far. But now is his moment. Nice Hurricane Rana. Beautiful form. Oh, but Pharaoh fighting back. Adolfo with a knee. Following up immediately. With the neck breaker. And right back on the offense is the Pharaoh. And what is this? Oh! Come on now. Goodness sake. Absolute disrespect on the part of the Pharaoh right now. Up to the second rope. European uppercut. Huge move there. Very nice too. And no. Star unable to see. See the light of day still in this matchup. Somehow, some way. Oh, Star and still able to fight back. We've seen such heart out of this man since he de oh since he debuted in New Age Horizons, and tonight seems to be no different. As damaged as he may be, he is putting up one hell of a fight. Oh, drives the elbow down. Oh, Star with the big opportunity capitalizes with an elbow off the top. Trying to get the fans behind him right now. Take a look again at that big move. That really brought Starin back into this thing. Going for a cover. Will we see the end here? No! Adolfo kicking out. Oh, what a nice shot right there. Right to the jaw. And will... Oh, will the Pharaoh eat defeat right here? This could be the end-all be-all. The finishing move of Starin rolls into it. Oh, no! Gets caught. Well scouted by Adolfo. Slams him down with a spine buster. Starin trying to finish off that combination. Oh, no. Look at this. The panted move of the Pharaoh. And he's got it cinched in right in the middle of the ring. Great positioning on the part of that man. Oh, and the legs wrapped up. And I can't blame Starn in the slightest for tapping out your winner. That man right there, the Pharaoh Adolfo. Good effort on the part of Jack, but oh, that was the decision maker right there. Can't blame him at all for tapping out. Farrell was so dominant in that matchup. And kept staying on those legs. Until there was nothing left of him. Big win here. For the Pharaoh. Sally Jack gets to do the walk of shame now. And look at this. A standoff between the Pharaoh and Cannibal. These two guys, an obvious animosity spurring between these two has been apparent ever since viewer's choice and there goes a pharaoh. Cannibal watches as he leaves. But nevertheless, the Adolfo can celebrate easy here tonight as he stands tall against Jack Starr and, and definitely making a statement for Cannibal as well. And you can hear the fans rallying behind Jack Starr and he may have lost but as I said an absolute fan favorite is Jack. The fans certainly wouldn't sway him wrong here. But oh. Jack obviously very upset as a result of that loss. That is his second back-to-back -back loss after all, after viewer's choice, and I can't blame him for being unhappy.
And there you see right there, the impulse division will be consisting of two rope breaks per match. A third rope break causes a disqualification. And the seven, there's a bit of a seven minute time limit for regular matches. And if matches go over that, five minutes are added for overtime. With a title contendership, there will be a point system. The first to five points, as a matter of fact. The first point would be pinfall. Two points would be submission. Three points would be countout, etc. Points will be counted after the tournament to crown a champion. And there you see right there. So far, we have Trey Jordans and Nacho Main to start us off here. Impulse division, a very ambitious division to say the very least. It's going to be very interesting to see how it evolves over time here. Still very young, of course, here tonight. And I can't wait especially to see who else is involved in the Impulse Division. But we certainly have a pretty good start here tonight as Nacho Main makes his way out to ringside for his main event matchup. The always outspoken Nacho Man speaking his mind on Twitter in preparation for this matchup. It's been a little bit since we've seen him inside the ring, but it looks like he's looking just as funky as ever. And he better be ready because he's got one hell of a challenge ahead of him as he faces off against... As he faces off against that man, a member of the delegation, Trey Jordans. Certainly the first time in my mind that we're seeing a mean streak from Jordans. As he aligns himself with the delegation, Joshua Phoenix and Bryce Starr involved as well have taken New Age Horizons by storm after making their interruption in a matchup between Phoenix and Stevens and Viewer's Choice. And ever since then has been causing waves in New Age Horizons all throughout the night, including the opening title package, as I'm sure you all saw. And here we go. As you see right there, the time limit for this matchup is above, and here we go. Collar and elbow tie-up for these two individuals. As Nacho Main gains the advantage early, but quickly, Trey Jordans takes him up and down. Very nice chain wrestling here, keeping the headlock high and tight on the ground. And nice counter there. Very fast pace you can expect out of the Impulse Division is going to be the main attraction as this division moves forward. Fast paced action as well as some insane technicality as you see right here. Oh! Oh wow! Nice cover right there but an immediate kick out from Nacho Main. Definitely has been around the block long enough to kick out quick with that move. Nice cover but gets caught up in the ropes is Jordan's. Nice leapfrog. I'll try to go for another one, but... Ooh! Fakes him out! Very nice move, and then the kick... and the kip up, excuse me, by Nacho Main, and... Dre Jordan is not happy about the antics of Nacho early on. And oh! That's not a good way to get on his... Oh, on his good side, that's for sure. Safe to say, Nacho Main definitely doesn't want to be a part of the delegation anytime soon. And Jordan stabilizing immediately. Takes him down to the mat once again. And now, second time's the charm. Going for the cover again. Broken leg. One. Two. No. Two counts. And Jordan was getting angry very early in this match. Not sure what he was expecting out of Nacho Main. He may be all fun and games, but 
He knows what he has to do inside that squared circle, that's for sure. He has competed for the champ the main championship of New Age Horizons once before, after all. Oh, and look at Nacho! Wow! What a head spring! Takes him down with the arm drag, and now follows up with a beautiful head scissors into the corner. Nacho defining what the Impulse Division is all about in this matchup right now. Some fast-paced, beautiful action, if I do say so myself. Oh! These two guys dealing disgusting chops in the corner, and oh! Knee right to the gut, it looked like he was gonna go into the opposite corner and possibly go for some more chops. But nope, that's ended pretty quick on again. A knee. Right to the midsection. Now going off the ropes again. Takes him down with the drop toe hold. Now it's got the arms. Oh! Just kicks him right in the side. Now Jordan's with the curb stomp! Oh man! That is a nasty move if I've ever seen one. And now, oh! Now a quick belly shot. On another! Now in to the chin lock goes Jordan's, and as I said, Jordan's widely regarded as one of the best up-and-coming stars, but it's rare to see him in this kind of form right now. Rarely have I ever seen him in such a negative and sadistic light. But Nacho Man trying to silence him right now. Oh, try to go for a boot! But Jordan's catches him! Great, great showing right there of awareness in that Oh, in the ring and oh man! Nasty kick right to the gut. Nacho was prone on the ropes. Two count only. As I said, such aggression on the side of Jordan's unlike I've ever seen. And Nacho Man feeling the effects of it right now. Jordan's trying to make a statement for the delegation in this matchup. And, it, and you gotta know that it's gonna be, it would be huge for the delegation to have a championship under its belt. And Trey Jordan's has the opportunity to get the delegation that championship. When the time comes for the tournament to be over. Oh man. Excuse me, Nacho Main. Explodes. Nacho Man always had such an explosive offense, and there's an example of it right there. As he tries to get something going for himself. Ooh! Fakes him out! Kicks him right in the face! Now follows up with a DDT! Beautiful tornado DDT! Now going for the cover! Two! Oh, just a two. You gotta know Nacho Man absolutely feeling himself in this matchup. One of the... Oh, man! One of the early trailblazers of New Age Horizons. Trying to get this W to the best of his ability, but it's not gonna be easy. Oh, my God! Did you see the elevation that Jordan's just got? It's so hard to hate the guy when he can do moves like that. Oh! What a harsh whip on the outside but did you see the height that Jordan's got on that moonsault oh my god it was absolutely astounding now the assault on the outside still Nacho Man definitely feeling the effects of that shot not even getting up by his own free will oh elbow strike by Jordan's Certainly a mastermind to say the very least. He has learned from the best and has fought the best. And he's still such a relative newcomer as well. On the top rope! Nice Lariat! A wild Lariat from the top rope. Going for the cover now. Two. Oh, just a two. Oh, and Jordan's not too happy about it. He thought this match was over right there. 15 seconds on the clock. I wouldn't be surprised if they want to end it early. Oh! Not Jermaine. Trying to slow it down a little bit, though. Four, three, two, one. 
and we are going into overtime right now and as the rule stated and yeah, the fans chanting for more and they are gonna get it five minutes for overtime have begun big leap ooh and then a European uppercut and oh the Bronco Buster in the corner Panted Nacho Main doing some heavy damage to Jordans in the corner. Now Nacho trying to follow up with something. Oh, gets caught with a small package. Able to get the ropes though. Oh, big boots him! Ow, did you see the recoil? Nacho Main's head just getting spiked on that bottom rope. And now Jordans with the finish. His patented move connects in full. A kick right to the head. Going for the cover. Will that be it? In overtime, and it will be. Dre Jordan's picking up a huge dominating victory. Oh, Nacho made down and out. The referee trying to check on him. And here comes another member of the delegation, Bryce Starr. Oh, no. I smell trouble on the horizon for Nacho Main right now. Oh, look at this. Bryce has him! Oh! Just throws him all the way across the ring. Such power on the part of Star. Speaking of a man who I'm not used to seeing in a negative light. Oh! Just takes him up and down. Let that sit out, Spine Buster. Jordans and Sky looking proud of what they've done here tonight. And they've certainly made a statement, but absolutely gross.